President Joe Biden keeping a promise to Florida Democrat Charlie Crist, member of Congress, was a former governor. Uh, Biden showing up in Florida yesterday. Crist invited him down there to campaign on his behalf, one of the only Democrats to do that. But does it make a difference to Florida voters with Ron DeSantis leading by 12 points in that race right now? just six days before Election Day. Joining us for more Florida State Representative and former Florida GOP Chair Blaze Ingolia. Uh, Blaze, great to have you on. Good morning. Good morning. So does Joe Biden make a difference there? I, I know that three million early votes have already been cast, but we're talking about a, a state right now that doesn't look purple anymore. It's starting to look very red. Yes, it is very red. Uh, I'm actually predicting that this state is going to go upwards of 15 points for Ron DeSantis. But to answer your question, Joe Biden in the state does make a difference. It's going to help Republicans. That's just the bottom line, because Joe Biden and his leftist buddies in Washington, D.C., their policies have become so toxic that Florida voters and other voters are just rejecting it. So it's not going to help. Uh, it's not going to help Democrats. It's going to help Re Republicans. I actually wish we can keep him campaigning in the state for the next <laughs> week. That would be great. Right. Um, you're running for the state Senate down there. Uh, it looks like Ron DeSantis is going to have very wide coattails uh, for Republican candidates throughout the state to get swept up in some of the momentum there. Uh, Marco Rubio as well. He's up by eight points right now over Congresswoman Val Demings out of Orlando. Um, what do you make of that and, and what matters most to Florida voters heading into Tuesday? What matters most is uh, defeating the leftist agenda that uh, of the Democrats and Joe Biden. That's that's a big issue to Floridians, and that's one of the reasons why we brand ourselves the freest state in the nation. And that's thankful to uh, we're thankful to the leadership of Ron DeSantis and Marco Rubio. Look, they're worried about inflation. They're worried about the economy. But there's another thing I want to be clear here. This is not going to be a red wave in Florida. It is going to be a tsunami. I actually think that Republicans are going to win what was once deep blue Miami-Dade County by five points. This is a county that wow. went for almost 30 points for Hillary Clinton. It is going to go red. And that's why Joe Biden is in Miami, not because they have a chance of winning Florida, because they don't because they're afraid of losing Miami-Dade County. Shocking. Uh, that is the largest, probably bluest county in the state. A huge Cuban population, of course, in Miami-Dade. Uh, a, a vast majority of that population voted for Donald Trump in 2020 and in 2016 as well. Uh, I, I want to talk about Florida politics. A after we get through next Tuesday, it'll be on to 2024. Um, Florida's one of these states. We could have three Florida residents running for the GOP nomination, Rick Scott, uh, Marco Rubio and, uh, well, I guess you could say four, Rick Scott, Marco Rubio, Donald Trump, and Ron DeSantis. Uh, what do you make of that? What I make of that is that we have amazing leadership here in the state of Florida, that we have four people that could potentially run for president of the United States. And that just goes to show you that conservative leadership, bold leadership works. Donald Trump uh, is now uh, somebody that votes in Florida along with Ron DeSantis. A lot has been made about the dynamic between the two and what will happen uh, once we start, you know, focusing on 2024. Joe Biden called Ron DeSantis Trump incarnate yesterday. What do you make of a comment like that? Look, the Democrats are flailing um, as they are desperate because they know that the policies that they have been espousing, the rhetoric, that they have been pushing out for the last um, four years has just been absolutely toxic. The Democrat brand is toxic. So there's, it's no surprise that uh, Joe Biden is trying to throw haymakers. Just none of them are landing. Blaze Angolia, good luck to you, sir. Six days to go until the midterms. Thanks so much for being with us this morning. We appreciate it. My pleasure. Anytime.